Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing another first impressions and review video and today I'm going to be talking all about the new Rimmel collection which is the Insta collection. So I really hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you do down in the comments below and please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to see my tutorial review and first impressions on all the new Insta products from Rimmel then keep watching. So Rimmel were kind enough to send me a few of their new products from their new collection which is called the Insta collection. And it's the must have makeup collection to get the picture perfect look and you know I love my selfies. So I'm guessing that these products together are supposed to help us get the perfect Insta selfie or phone selfie. And if you've checked out my Instagram then you definitely know I'm a fan of those. So the first product is this and at the moment I'm really into setting sprays. I use them to prime and I also use them to set as well. So this is another one to add to my collection so I'm really looking forward to using this today. Next we've got a little compact with three colour correctors and this is the Insta Conceal and Correct. And there's a little peachy one, a green one and a lavender shade. And in all these little compacts there is a little mirror as well which is really nice. There's also another three little compacts with a trio of concealers. And these are the Insta Conceal and Contour. So you have a shade to highlight, to conceal and to contour as well which is really nice. And there are three different ones because they come in light, medium and dark. Next there are three different contour sticks and I think I'm most excited about these because I've never used anything like this before. So these are called the Insta Duo Contour Sticks and then on one side there is a cream highlighter and then the other side is a contour stick which looks really really nice. And again there are three different ones because there is a light, medium and dark. And then lastly is this setting powder called the Insta Fix and Matte which if you've watched my channel for a while now then you'll know that I'm a huge fan of the Rimmel Clear Complexion Setting Powder so I'm hoping that this meets up to that. To prime my skin I'm going to go in with the spray and it says locks in makeup, quick dry and it's oil free as well. So I think I'm going to need to give this a few squirts before it comes out. I'm also really fussy on the actual spray because I don't like it to apply too much product. I like a fine mist over my skin. So let's see how this works. Oh that smells so nice and fresh does spray a really fine and light mist as well which is definitely a good point from me so this is in good books at the moment. Next I'm going to go in with the corrector palette. This is the Insta Conceal and Correct and there are three different shades. I've used colour correcting in a couple of my full coverage foundation routine videos but I only really tend to use a green highlighter but today I'm going to go in with all of them because I want to see what they're like. I've never used a lavender shade. I've also never been able to use a peachy shade before because the ones that I have in my other corrector palettes, the peachy shades are just too dark for me. But this one actually looks really nice so I'm going to go in with all of them today just to get a feel of what they're like. I forgot to say that it does actually say on the front which each colour is used for. So the peachy one is to cover dark circles, the green one is to cover redness and the purple one is to cover dullness and then on the back it does have a little diagram as well of where to put it and things like that. So that is really helpful especially if you're not that comfortable with using colour correctors yet and are not that sure on where to put them. So I'm starting with the peachy shade to cover my dark circles and I'm going to actually use a little brush for this. So I'm just going to take that all underneath my eye because I do really suffer with dark circles at the moment but I've never used an actual corrector before to conceal them so we'll see how we go today. And even just putting a little bit of that on you can see it's definitely brightened that area. And I'm not putting too much on either, just a light layer I think will do. The texture is really soft and creamy as well which is definitely what you want under the eyes because you don't want anything too thick. Especially because we're going to be putting concealer over the top of this. So that is the peachy one. I'm going to go in with the green one now. And I'm just going to use my finger for this one. And I like to put a green corrector onto my cheeks because I do suffer with redness. And you can see just there, there's a little pimple there. So that can go. And I have been preferring to do a colour correcting, especially when it comes to my redness because... It just means that I don't have to put as much foundation on. I'm also hoping that that works the same with the using the corrector because hopefully it will mean I don't have to put that much concealer on under my eyes and I can keep it quite light. Then finally for the purple shade I'm actually going to apply this to the areas which I want to highlight later on. So that's going to be my forehead. I'm going to put a bit down my nose as well. And I'm also applying a little bit to the tops of my cheekbones which is where 
I'm going to want to highlight later on. Okay, so that is me colour corrected so far. I actually really liked the texture and the feel of these concealers. They blended out really nice with the brush and my finger. So I'm just going to apply my normal foundation over the top. This is the MAC Studio Fix. And I'm going to apply it with my sponge because that's how I usually apply it. And it is a really dirty sponge as well. I really need to pick up some more. Okay, so my foundation is applying really, really nice over the top of these. My redness is not showing through at all really and I've never used the purple concealer to brighten before but I do feel like it's definitely worked, especially in my forehead area. The foundation is applying it nicely over the top, it's not caking up or settling in any pores or anything. You would never even know that there was anything under there. I'm very impressed with that. I'm going to go in with my normal concealer again. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And then just in these little areas to highlight a little bit. Again, that concealer has blended really nice over there. There is a little bit of creasing going on. But to be honest, that's no use to me because I do have very dry under eyes so they do always crease a little bit it definitely doesn't look as dark under there as it usually does after just applying the concealer they definitely look so much brighter than when i usually just apply concealer on its own i am really pleased with that correct i'm definitely going to be using that from now often i'm just going to set my under eyes really quick using the insta fix and matte powder only to my under eyes just at the moment because i don't want these creasing so I'm just pressing the powder in. That powder was actually really nice and lightweight. I was expecting it to be a little bit more powdery. I don't know why. I'll use it later on as well to set the rest of my face. So we'll have another go of that as well later on. So moving on to these palettes. These are the Insta Conceal and Contour palettes. And they are little trios the same as the correctors. On each shade as well it says which one it's used for. So there's a highlight, conceal and contour shade in each palette and then again on the back there's a little diagram and some instructions of how to use each shade which is really helpful so I don't usually use creams to highlight because the concealer that I use under my eyes especially with the corrector today is more than enough highlight for me so I would only use the concealers in this palette to cover extra imperfections which were showing through so if I had any extra redness or any blemishes which needed extra coverage that's when I would go in with these but I am a fan of cream contouring so I am going to use one of the contour shades and I've had a little swatch of all of the palettes and I think I'm going to use the contour shade from the medium one they do look a little bit warm in tone for me but when I say that I cream contour I would say that I contour slash bronze at the same time so I think these will work fine for me but if you prefer a cooler tone and shade these for me do look a little bit warm. I'm going to use a brush to apply mine. This is a Makeup Revolution one of the oval brushes. I got this in a set and this is the medium sized one. Then I'm going to go over with my sponge that I've used to apply my foundation and concealer and I'm just rolling it over the top and I'm rolling it upwards to help blend it up because you don't want to blend past that line. I like that it hasn't disturbed the foundation underneath because sometimes when I apply cream products it will disturb what's underneath especially if I've moved on to using a brush. That actually looks really nice. I'm going to just take a little bit around my forehead and then again I'm just going to roll over with my sponge and blend that in. These blend so effortlessly and I think it's because they feel so lightweight. So what I thought you could also do now is go in with a concealer and then just sharpen up under that line. So I'm taking the light palette this time and taking the highlight shade and I'm taking the small brush from Makeup Revolution and I'm going to sweep this underneath to clean that up. One thing that I will say about these palettes is that when you look at them when they've not been swatched they look a different colour to what they look when you've actually moved your finger around in them so this one I've not swatched yet so if you look at the colour now and then look at it now how light it is I think that they do actually look darker in the pan than they actually are when you start swatching them and things like that so that is another thing to take into account it's like this end one there I've only slightly touched it 
and you can see how dark it looks on the outside whereas as soon as I've touched it it goes really light. So moving on to these which I think I'm most excited about from the collection which is the Insta Duo Contour Sticks. So these are the three different shades, there is dark, medium and then light at the end. I don't really see too much difference between the dark and the light. So those are the three shades, I'm not sure if you can even see them properly, but there's dark, medium and then light at the bottom. I think light at the bottom just looks a tiny little bit more warmer and the medium looks a tiny, slightly little bit more cooler, but to be honest, I think I could get away with either. I'll try and swatch you all the highlight shades as well. I think this is all just a blur of like highlight, but dark is at the top, which is very golden. In the middle is more of like a champagne shade and then at the bottom again is a lighter shade. To be honest I do think I could get away with either light or medium, I don't know whether it will make that much difference. So I think I might use both and just see how they both work. So what I'm actually hoping to do with these as well is because I have already contoured, I'm hoping that I could bring this up a little bit further to sort of bronze at the same time as well. So I think... I'm going to start with the light shade and I'm going to apply it straight over the top of that other concealer and I'm going to blend these ones out with my beauty blender. Well that blended out really easily and they apply really pigmented but they blend out really easily so I wouldn't actually be too scared if you apply a little bit too much because they actually blend out really nice. That does look really really nice. I'm going to take a little bit around my forehead. I feel like even if you're more of a makeup novice, you're going to be able to use these so easily. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the medium shade now and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this up onto the cheeks. Just there, just to see if it'll add a little bit more pigment and a little bit more bronziness. I do really like that you can sort of build this up, so if you wanted it quite sheer, you can blend it out so it's quite sheer or if you do want it quite strong then you can build this up make a really strong contour as well but it's time for my favorite part which is always highlighter i'm going to use the highlight shade from the light contour stick sweep it on like i did before and then i'm going to blend it in with my beauty blender and a little bit above my brow bone as well it is really pretty but it's not like wow in your face highlight, it looks very natural and again it's blended in really effortlessly. I think that this as well would look really really nice if you were having a no makeup day and just wanted a little bit of highlight on. I think it would look really nice like that. I'm going to try a little bit from the medium as well. If you wanted it to be a little bit more stronger you can always apply your powder highlight over the top. I'm going to just apply a little bit down the centre of my nose, onto my cupid's bow, on my forehead and on this side as well. So very, very finally it's time to try the setting powder again which was the Insta Fix and Matte. And I'm going to apply this everywhere except for the places which I highlighted. So I'm just taking a brush and I'm just going to pat it everywhere except for over the highlighted areas because obviously we don't want to mattify the highlight. This actually, I thought that it smelled. Yeah, I think it does smell a little bit like the setting spray. So that is the finished look from using all of the new products and I honestly think it looks really, really nice. I'm just going to quickly finish off the rest of my makeup and then come back and do my final thoughts. All I'm going to do is add a little bit of bronze because I do feel like I need a little bit of bronzer on still because I don't think that's bronzed me up enough. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of makeup to my under eyes and lipstick and then I'll be back in one sec. Okay, so now I'm back. I completely forgot to try this again to set my makeup. This is the Insta Fix and Go. So I'm just going to finish by spraying this. Let's quickly talk about my first impressions. The spray I really, really liked. It smells really nice and it applies really evenly and fine as well. So this I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of uses out of. The translucent setting powder again felt really, really nice and lightweight. Obviously I'm not going to know how well it sits on top of my makeup unless I leave it on for a while, which I will do now. 
But first impressions, this seems really, really nice as well. And I love my other Rimmel translucent powder. So I'm guessing I am going to really like this one. The corrector palette, I absolutely love. I've never tried a peachy shade or a lavender shade before, but both really, really work. The concealer palettes, I did really like. The consistency of the products were really creamy and nice. They were very pigmented and they blended really easily as well. Only thing I maybe didn't like about these was that the shade changed when I actually swatched it. So they looked a little bit darker than they actually were. I do think though that that is a shade for everybody and for me in my skin tone I could either get away with the medium or light palette. And then very very finally are the Insta Contour Duo Sticks and I think the only thing that I would change in these is I would change the contour side and maybe have that as a cream bronzer instead. Even though these work really really well as a contour I did already have it done with this. So as a collection of products I don't need two contour shades but I would benefit really well from a cream bronzer so if this was a cream bronzer side and then with the highlights that would be a perfect product for me. So overall I think that is a really nice collection of products. I have enjoyed using everything as well so that finishes off today's first impressions and review so I really hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you do down in the comments below and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!